Hi everyone, so here we go for another recipe but today we also have a little goodie for all those of you who are residents of Canada. I'll talk more about this in a minute. For today we are um, featuring a Mexican inspired dish which we have uh, adapted and veganized from the shrimp a la mexicana dish which is basically shrimp doused in a tomato based sauce. To make this dish vegan, I'm substituting the shrimp with the plantain and to bring out the sea flavor, I'm using a couple of nori sheets crumbled into the sauce, hence the name Ocean Plantain. But what really brings this dish to another level is the ripe juicy tomatoes and today we're using the fire roasted tomatoes from Rear Glen. These tomatoes are smooth with a nice robust flavor, they are just gorgeous. If you haven't had the chance to try these tomatoes yet, Muir Glen is offering a prize pack to one lucky reader or subscriber of the Vegan Lovely blog or channel. So this contest is open to all Canadian residents. Um, all the details on how to enter are on our website. Check the description below for the link. So now let's start cooking. I am using semi-ripe plantains in this recipe, but green or ripe are also suitable. You may also use green bananas, but certainly not ripe ones. Plantains have to be properly cooked before consuming, otherwise they may cause stomach cramps for some people. The skin of the green or semi-ripe plantain is very difficult to remove. To make them easier to peel, I am going to boil them first. This also improves the texture, so add enough water in a large pot to cover the plantains. Then cover the pot and bring to a boil on medium heat. Depending on how green or ripe the plantains are, it may take from 30 to 45 minutes for the skin to soften and easily detach from the flesh. If using ripe plantains, skip this step. While the plantains are boiling, prepare the other ingredients. Peel and dice half of a yellow or white onion. Then peel and finely chop two garlic cloves. Depending on how spicy you like your food, you may deseed the chilies for less heat. I'm using jalapeno chili, but serrano chilies are also good. So chop the chilies into small pieces. In many aspects, I find Mexican cuisine to be quite reminiscent of Mauritian cuisine. The bold flavors from chili peppers along with ingredients like tomatoes are really evocative of the base ingredients in many Mexican as well as Mauritian recipes. This particular recipe comes out quite close to the Mauritian rugai, which we previously featured but with a few variations. Check on the plantains, you will know they are ready when the skin has changed color to a dull brown and starts to crack. So then remove them from the water and allow to cool. Or rinse them in cold water to cool them off more quickly. This will also allow the plantains to firm up before you slice them. Otherwise they will just crumble instead of staying as whole clean slices. So peel and slice them at an angle into discs of about 5 mm or quarter of an inch thick. Place the slices in a mixing bowl, season with the paprika and the coriander seed powder. Then toss and mix well. Lightly coat a large skillet or cast iron pan with olive oil and set it over medium-high heat. Once heated, add the plantain slices in a single uncrowded layer. Work in batches if necessary.
When plantains pick up a nice golden color and are slightly crispy on one side, this should take about 5 minutes. Flip them over and cook until golden and slightly crispy or about 3 more minutes. Remove all the plantains and set aside. Before moving on to making the sauce, toast the nori sheets directly on the hot plate or the flame by lightly touching them in the heat while turning them around until they feel crisp. If you have a gas stove, set it on very low flame or use a pan to toast them. Then leave the nori aside in a dry place. I have given the skillet a quick rinse before moving on to remove any spices that may have deposited. Add 1 tablespoon of olive oil. Once heated, add the onions and garlic followed by the chili. So take for about 3 minutes. Next, we are going to add the fire roasted tomatoes. It's always a good idea to wash the lid of cans before opening them as they have traveled and may not have been stored in clean environments all through the journey to your kitchen. It's good to know that the cans from Muir Glen are BPA free if you're worried about that. What I like about these Muir Glen tomatoes is that they are not overcooked compared to other brands that we have used. You can really tell from their gorgeous bright and fresh taste. Kevin said they brought back memories of the garden grown tomatoes that he used to enjoy when he was a kid. I find these tinned tomatoes to be even suitable for certain salsa recipes where you would usually use fresh tomatoes. So once added to the pan, cook the tomatoes for another 3 minutes. Crumble the nori sheet into the pan and stir. You may use just one or half of a nori sheet if you prefer a more subtle sea flavor. Now add in the plantains and stir them into the sauce. Cook for another 3 minutes. Ideally lime juice would keep this recipe more authentic, but I have lemons on hand for today, so they work well too. Next, slice the avocado in half and remove the pit, then dice the flesh into the skin itself. Scoop out the flesh with a spoon and add them to the pan. Avocados add some creaminess to this dish and they round everything off. At this stage, you can add some salt to taste. Give everything a stir and turn off the heat before garnishing with some chopped coriander leaves or cilantro. You can serve this dish with rice or alongside some black beans and baked or grilled sweet corn. It's really a mouthful of flavors and textures. Don't forget to go to our website for the details on how to enter the contest or your chance to win a Muir Glen Tomato Prize Pack. If you've enjoyed this recipe, please give it a thumbs up. And if you try it, don't forget to tag us on social media. We love seeing what you're making. As usual, you can find a printable version of this recipe on our website. Bye and see you soon!